What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel with your main girl Mel and my sister Amanda. Today we're going to be sharing with you lots of time saving curly hair styling techniques and tips when we are doing our hair routine. I personally have really thick long hair so styling can take me a while but now that it's summer and I'm washing my hair more often I need all your tips Mel because I know you can do your routine in under 20 minutes. Believe it or not sis it's true. Will you be able to? Stay tuned. We're going to time Amanda's routine on her much much longer and thicker hair, but with the same time-saving techniques. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I gave Amanda instructions during her prep. She showered, she did a shampoo, hopefully two. Yep. Three. Are you serious? Yeah, I had to. Okay, well that's a little bit too much. <laughs> now you're wondering why your hair is dry. Two should be enough, but three I mean, is sweating you must. A lot. Then you should. Okay. I don't want that mask. No, no. Okay. Then she masked and detangled. Yes. Okay, that is kind of key so that the rest of the styling goes by quickly. Snaps, 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 snap. We have to cover your really cute outfit. Yes, we are matching. We are Cosmo sisters. and Wanda. We are your fairly odd curl parents. Sisters. Very odd curl sisters. Mothers. Peter. Anyways, in between the shower and now, Amanda has kept her hair clipped up like so. All of her hair is contained in this clip, keeping it quite wet, but allowing some of that excess moisture to drip while she did other things like her makeup, slayed. Mel did it for me. I did. And anything else, like making your coffee. Cheers. It's too hot for me. Ah, that first sip. And so now we are ready and we are going to be voicing over the rest of the styling portion because, well, I'm not great at multitasking. And we want to show you real time how long it's going to take Mel to style my hair. Now, of course, I am a pro, but practice makes perfect. So we're going to gather our products and tools, like a spray bottle with water, your styling brush, slash also detangler. And this is matching us. I know. Stop it! We are just matching. We're like Barbie dolls right now. We are now, Barbie. Honestly. Barbie. Get your prep, your style your blow dryer and diffuser and finally your microfiber towel will also come in handy our timer begins now don't talk to me don't, don't look at me don't breathe in my direction let me do what I need to do I am going to oh I'm gonna shut up so let us begin the voiceover. We're gonna make sure the hair is just wet enough even from root to tip it does not need to drip it just needs to squish you know the magic sound now we're gonna spray our leave-in conditioner, preferably a spray because this is gonna be lightweight and easy to distribute. Brush that all through, make sure every strand is nice and coated, and then we're gonna section the hair in two. The ice cream truck. Parting and clipping away the top horseshoe. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Move her up! No, because you can't see my hair. Amanda, you're an idiot. This way. You yeah, that's back. It's fun for you. This is your friend. Man, we don't have time to argue right now. <laughs> Please do not get me started. Now we can apply the stylers, AKA our curl definers. Fuck. Sweating. Sweating. You're on the clock, Melissa. And I know, shut up. <laughs> Amanda has bleached hair and therefore dry hair. So she needs to use a curl cream to help provide moisture for her hair. But you may be able to just use a foam or a gel or a foaming gel on its own without cream, which would dry a lot faster as well. Creams tend to be heavier and take longer to dry, but we're using one that's lightweight and also provides great hold. We really want the hold and we're brushing this product through the hair to help again evenly distribute as well as define the curls. We're doing my ribbon curl technique because this makes the hair look absolutely amazing and is done so efficiently. The vertical sections is the game changer here. So we're working around the head, always making sure to sandwich the hair between your hand and the brush for that ribbon effect. And if you're starting to wonder how is this any different from any other routine, what makes this specifically time saving? Well, hold on, okay, we're getting there. Through the top, I'm working on these diagonal sections, alternating from left to right as I work to the front of Amanda's head. This way she can flip her hair wherever. And I did the same thing on me. I can roll the clip here, just so you can also see how this looks when done. DIY, not by me. 
it is still by me, but it's done solo. Anyways, once we're clumped, we're gonna scrunch in a mousse. Now this mousse is gonna help to give us a ton of hold. We're gonna pat, pat, pat to distribute and then scrunch it all in. And then we're gonna scrunch it all out. Okay, this is where we're gonna take our damp microfiber towel that we used earlier around our necks, not our cracks. And we're gonna use it to scrunch out excess water and moisture that would make the dry time much longer. Now, you're inevitably going to remove a little bit of product from your hair through this process, but that's okay. You were probably a little heavy handed anyways. Also, as a final step, you can use a wet texture spray or even a hairspray as one last layer of protection before diffusing. And believe me, you're gonna want that hold so you can go buck wild with your dryer, okay? The temperatures are high and the speed is high for maximum efficiency we're gonna be hovering around the hair very actively, keeping it moving, keeping it grooving for a few minutes until we're starting to notice that the hair has set just a little bit. The hair may feel a little bit crunchy and that means you can start scrunching. I'm keeping the temperatures consistent here, always high because remember, the leave-in we used had heat protection, hopefully. But that's why we use a prep product with heat protection. If you need a little incentive to move faster, play some horse racing music and remember, just because we're moving quickly doesn't mean that we're rushing. We're just not loafing around. We're bopping around. Look at me and Amanda just dancing. We're actually moving the hair around and it's not frizzing because we have so much hold in the hair. What we really wanna do is make sure that we're not focusing on one area of the hair for too long. You want the whole head to dry pretty evenly. So keep things moving, work strategically to go from section to section to section to section until you get all the way around the head, you flipped every way, you've scrunched every strand, and now the ends are feeling set. If they no longer feel wet and there is that strong cast on them, the hair has completely set, and now is a great time to actually remove the diffuser attachment, this is optional, but it's great if you like a little extra volume in the roots. And we're just gonna blow air in circular motions along the scalp. This is where you can activate the cool setting. This is gonna help cool you down and just make sure that the scalp is freshly dry so that the hair is ready to finish. I'm gonna take some hair oil. Now this is only if you like a softer look. The hair has got lots of hold because we put in hairspray, but we do wanna fluff it out a touch. Smoothing it over with some protective serum. Can I stop the clock? You can stop the clock after one more spritz of hairspray, I believe. It smells so good, this hairspray. Yeah, it's fabulous. Timer off. 28 minutes. Let me know what you think. Are you impressed by 28 minutes? Do you think you can beat it? I would like to know. I challenge you to time yourself and your routine using these tips, tricks, and techniques and let me know how it goes. I'm telling you, just because you are working quickly and efficiently doesn't mean that you are risking everything. The curls are doing it for me. I mean, I'm very impressed because typically I usually take about 45 minutes to style and dry my hair. So to do it in just 28 minutes, I'm very, very impressed. And I will definitely be doing all of these tips my next wash day. We'll put a list of all the products that I use in the description box below so you can check that out there. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Mel and Amanda. And we're out. Peace. Hey. Hey, everyone. Hey, oh my God. Oh my God, it's, I'm too short. No. Well, should I go get the seat that you sit on? Sit back down where you belong in the corner of my bar with your high heels on. Sit back down on the couch where we... Ugh. That's better. Made a difference and now sit with good posture. Very good. You need a coffee? You're lying to yourself. Let's do this. You don't need a coffee right now. Oh yeah? I don't want it. Really? The intro and then we'll get coffee. Have you ever used just mousse gel? No, it's gonna be too dry. My hair's been dry lately, so I need the moisture. How was your mask? It was nice. I like the smell. I was wondering why you smelled good yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my farts smell like roses. You're an idiot. What was that? How am I an idiot? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm in a very good position to tickle you to death. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it when people touch my neck. Oh, that's why I can't get massages. Ow! You have given me too much power here, sister. I hate it. <laughs>
then you better act right. It's your legs are erect. <laughs> Stop. I hate that feeling. I hate the way you just sound. <laughs> Did you just fart? No, <laughs> it's a chair. Let me see your teeth. There's something in your teeth. <laughs> no, right here in the corner. <laughs> oh, it's just a spit bubble. That's a lot. That's a lot for me. <laughs> you're, you're a bitch. Hold on, check me. Sparkling. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> the ice cream truck must be stopped out front because I hear you. You must be stopped. <laughs> This video has been brought to you by the Mains by Mel team launching MainsByMel.com The one-stop blog spot to search and destroy I mean search and find all the answers to your questions in one convenient place Just take a look through the blog And if you're considering buying a product but you're not sure if it's going to work for you Check out Mel's who, what, when, where and why on the products she uses most you can find Mel's discount codes, video tutorials, and know when there is a new event and launch coming if you sign up for the newsletter. You'll also be automatically entered into a draw for a monthly giveaway. So what do you say? Head over to MainsByMel.com today. Ah, ah, ah.